Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are taking a look at the skill books, the not really that new anymore, but I still haven't really gone over them things. And we're also gonna be doing some more rebirths. But uh, first, I'm not sure how this works um, at all. Uh, I think there's a little information thing here. All right, so I guess I basically got it. It looks like you're not leveling up um, like the Astromon as a whole. You're leveling up one specific Astromon uh, and its books. So if you want to have like multiples, like two Monas, for example, you need uh, more books. So it's not like a global thing. It's more like leveling up one individual Astromon. So what I uh, wanted to do was do Horin because I really like my Dark Horn. I think she's uh, pretty good and she'll just get a straight damage buff. So um, we have eight books here, four for Miho, four for Kokomaru. Um, this is another reason why I wanted to do Rebirth, because my uh, Light Kokomaru doesn't have a square. I know he doesn't necessarily need one, and I've heard maybe he will actually be better without one, or without the uh, crit rate. Um, I'm not too sure. I rather would have that option there. So we're going to do more Rebirths and hope to get one with a square just in case. Then maybe if I decide later, okay, I'm just going to go full HP, then whatever. But regardless, um, I, I don't know if we can change anything here. We're just going to go ahead and use it. Um, yeah, here we go. Level up skill. The skill book used will disappear and cannot be restored. Um, yes. Okay. Oh, God. What's going on here? Um, okay, okay, okay. Cool. All right. Uh, doesn't look, look like anything really happened, but... Okay, so it goes to the level 1 skill, and I guess that is level 2 now, and 5% damage increase. Let's try another one, see what happens. We're going to use all four of our skill books here. I'm going to go ahead and skip this animation since we've seen it. And this one will go to the active. Okay, so it looks like you'll need, what, uh, 8 skill books to get all the bonuses for both? Maybe you can max out one side with uh, 4 skill books if you're lucky, or if that... I guess it doesn't really matter if you're lucky or not, it just kind of would happen that way. This one's going to the first skill. Okay, more damage. Uh, may as well use our last one. These are expensive, actually. 300k each. Just spent, like, 1.2 million gold for a 10% damage increase. Can we use Kokomaru's skill books on Horin? I doubt that works. No, don't have any. All right, well, that's pretty much that. I kind of uh, should have uh, tested damage before and after, um, just to see, because um, I assume it's just a straight 10% damage. It's not like 10% more attack or anything, because that'd be kind of useless for an aggressor. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, we never did our cleanup summons like I said we would do, because when I came on to do them, uh, the festival had already ended and I couldn't do any more uh, uh, rebirth festivals, so that was kind of a shame, and, um, yeah, but whatever, we can still do normal rebirth, and, uh, we can hit up rebirth festival next time, because I think Verde will be back again, but yeah, for now, we're just gonna take all of our, uh, Nat 3s out of storage, and, uh, do some more rebirths, hoping to get another, like, Kokomaru, if we don't, uh, we're gonna do 20 more, and if we don't get another Kokomaru, we're just gonna deal with the one we have, or, I, we also need a dark one, so a dark one would be nice also, uh, get that to Evo 3, get some Master Guard rewards, and I think his skills are not bad, so yeah, there's always that as well. I don't think we can do 20 this time, because we don't have that many uh, Astromons to spare, but maybe 10 or something. Here's the first one anyway, gotta get the Deans up in there. I can actually hear that coming out of my monitor because I have no headphones plugged in right now, but uh, I think that's actually fine. It's, uh, it's all good. So we're gonna use these five next. Ding! Alright, so no Nat 4 yet. Again, I'm not sure if uh, maybe they kind of nerfed the Nat 4 rates because it's only 20 this time. I don't know, not going to make any speculations, but uh, the only Nat 4 we've gotten out of this, so this will be the 24th pull now. The only Nat 4 we got was out of the 20th Light Dark Egg, so I don't know how to feel about that, but uh, we're going to keep going here. Maybe we do get one. Uh, trying to save my Kokomaru's there. Ding! So, still no Nat 4. Let's go ahead and use these five next. Ding! Because I also want to use the skill books. I think they have to be like 5 star though. I think I read that, so we won't really be able to use his right now. Although it doesn't really matter, I guess. You guys know what they do already. Ding! I think we used some Kokomaru's for that rebirth, but whatever. I think we have enough anyway. Once we get to, to 20 out of 20 here, we'll have 40 Kokomaru's, so that's actually enough. 
Do you go through the light and dark? Sh should we get them? Ding. Going with these five next. Ding. Still no four star, come on. I mean, the one guaranteed four star. We've done 28 rebirths now. These five next. Ding. Okay. So our 30th rebirth incoming now. Can we get a four star at one point besides the guaranteed one? Is that even a thing? Like, uh, or is that just what it is now? That you get that guaranteed one and no others. Starting to think that might be a thing. 31st rebirth, here we go. Ding. Okay. 32nd, using these five, let's go. Ding. Nope. 33rd. Ding. Uh, looks like we're almost out of nat threes. Here goes the 34th. Lucky 34th, ding, no. Yeah, we're pretty much out of nat threes except for the Kokomarus, so uh, we got some incubators though. We're gonna go ahead and use those. Get a couple more rebirths in there. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh, four star. What's gonna be? Yuki. Okay, ding, ding, ding. And one more normal, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, go for our light darks as well. Um, oh, another four star, cool. Ashura, interesting, interesting. All right, um, maybe we can get it a, also a not for light dark. Let's do it. No, okay, Cosmo, Wolf, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, man. Ding. We're not gonna use any light darks for rebirth though, just because, well, maybe that dude, because he's farmable. Thanks for giving me a farmable out of a light dark egg. Really nice of you. Oh, and then, well, yeah, another one, because you can fuse for him using a farmable light one. Alrighty, well, whatever. Um, we can do like two more rebirths, probs. I'm gonna throw that dude in there just because I don't really give a crap about you. And those dudes, and yep, use these five. Let's get a uh, light Kokomaru or a dark Kokomaru. I'm probably gonna get another light Kokomaru out of the uh, 20 with no square. Or maybe I will have one with a square and then I'll find out that he doesn't really need one. Gonna use these five, or, or, gonna use these five next. Ding. Okay, wow, thanks a lot for that. Actually, I think I am gonna go ahead and use my Kokomarus because like I said, I can farm them. So like, don't really care right now. Kinda wanna just get my uh, 20 there. Like I said, could just be the same Kokomaru we got before. So, or if it's not like a dark one, I don't need this many Kokomarus anyway. I'm just gonna throw him in there. I know he's awakened once, but like, I don't really care. Let's uh, throw the dark dude in there and whatever, him. That's fine, it's all good. I don't think I wanna throw 10 more Kokomaras in there though, just because then when I do eventually get one, then I won't be able to Evo 3 it until I farm a lot. Well, let's check. I know I have some in my storage, four, nine. I have 16 in my storage, so I could Evo 3 one. Uh, immediately, I could actually still Evo 3 one if I take one out. Actually, if I take two out, because I have 17. Yeah, now I have 15 in my storage, so I'm allowed to use all the Kokomarus, because I have a feeling um, our next rebirth, and the one after that, it's not going to be a nat 4, so we're not going to get two Kokomarus, we're going to Evo 3 anyway. So let's go ahead. Ding! And uh, yeah, so last one. Gonna try and avoid if possible, but I think the Kokomars are the only ones I have left that aren't Evo 2. So yeah, whatever. Let's go ahead and use those. Such Seems like such a waste to throw five Kokomars in to get one of the same. <laughs> well, no, it was a wood one when I threw water and fire in there. All right, well, let's see what we get here. Ding! Um, another light one. Okay, I actually would have preferred a dark one. Watch it have no square. Watch it have no square, ding. Okay, well it does. So I'm gonna raise this one. Probably I will try first with like uh, Ruin and Crit Rate and the other two as HP because I know my Horan, even without a Ruin set, uh, does really great damage and um, she's also an HP aggressor. So we'll see how that works out. Um, not too sure, might just go full HP. It is a lot easier to build and maybe the damage isn't that much different. I don't know, but um, guess we'll have to see. We also have a free three to five, so let's go ahead and open that real quick. Okay, nothing. I actually didn't realize we had 600 uh, crystals. Um, might save it for the hero gig. I heard if you buy the hero gig here, it triggers the one for hero festival. 
Um, maybe they fixed that or maybe it wasn't supposed to be like that, but I know it was like that once. Also, I am still planning on going over the uh, new Nat 5s, uh, Shinobi and on Mio G, whatever the hell they're called. But I guess they deserve their own separate video for that. And this is where I'm going to wrap this one up. So make sure to leave a comment down below telling me if you think a light Kokomaru actually needs a square or not. And uh, be prepared with uh, tests and proof and stuff. I had a little bit of an argument with someone on Discord. Not really argument, just kind of a discussion about that. And I don't know, I kind of find it hard to believe that um, there'd be very little damage increase. Um, so survivability obviously is going to be less when you're having crit rate, ruin, and 2 HPs instead of full HP. So better? Um, that's debatable for me, but I can't imagine that an HP aggressor or defense aggressor or whatever with ruin and crit rate and two HPs is going to do less damage or almost the same damage as just full HP. So we're talking damage here. I can't imagine that, but, um, whatever. I haven't done the math. I haven't done tests, so I can't really say for sure. Tell me what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Also make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy. I would really appreciate it. Thanks as always for watching. And until next time.